So, so yesterday, this is what happens. It's, it's simple. Um, in, in the first few slides, you, you looked at this and um, you saw it as, as you were taught. You saw it as what resonates with you in your office. You saw it as, um, as really pieces and parts. Okay. And because that's what all of us do. It's not, it's not a bad thing. It's just what, where we're at, you know. And, and you look at things like whatever jumps out at you, like, and then you kind of zoom in, you know, um, you, you, you could look at this thing. If, if, if you just zoomed out for a second, you go, wow, look at this whole thing's going to fall over. And then you look close and you go, wow, look at all this bending. And, oh, look at all this arthritis. And you just focus in on this area. And then you can stand, if you decide to look more and you go, oh, look at that wave over there. And you notice the shoulder and this kind of stuff. And um, that's all great. Okay. But it really doesn't tell you how to take care of this person. Did you ever look at an x-ray and say, you know, whether you were in school or whatnot and go, oh, this is the way I got to take care of them. If, you're, if you were doing upper cervical work, what you would do is you would take an x-ray and you would ca and you then you would start calculating stuff. OK, measuring and calculating. And it would tell you what to do. It would like you put a, for, you know, a put in and you get a fortune cookie out that says do a high four anterior three and a half. Okay, right side up. Okay, because that's side of laterality. And then adjust the vector. And then adjust on the vector. Yeah. Hmm? That's what I have oh, well. To... <laughs> well, you know why all that happens is because, listen, work. first of all, anything that does that, I mean, it, Shannon, uh, Shannon just brought up, and then, well, then you got to add a half an inch, and, you know, and I remember then if it was a kink, you'd have to subtract two and a half, you know, if Dr. Dickholz was doing it, or one and three quarters, something like that. Anyway, the point of the matter of that is, is that you can't have a formula, you know, since you brought that up, you can't have a formula for the human body. It's, 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 it's because it's not linear. Okay, I'm, I'm sure there's a formula out there, you know. But no one has has delved into that formula of how the human body operates at every level and what's going on. Can you imagine what that would look like? Right? It's crazy. Seriously. That's why it's above, down, inside out. Okay. So, so this thing right here is it's complicated. That's the point. So that's the idea of trying to understand what's going on with it. So then you could stand back from from A, B, C, D, and all these little pieces that you look at and you go, this is what this guy needs. It's just so simple to do it that way. This is what they need. This is pointing to this, okay? I got 10 things that are saying this and two that are saying that I shouldn't do that. Well, I'm gonna go with the 10, okay? You know? And, and now, at least the, the funniest thing about it is that you don't even need anything that I told you except really one piece. You could just look at this x-ray or look at that listing and get an idea of what's going on. That leg goes off left. left. First of all, you can't see that in space. Okay, you can't see that on an x-ray. Okay, you don't see that. You don't see that shift. You don't see that rolling in the acetabulum. Okay. All right. And then everything else is going to the left, to the right. And it's going so far right. Right. How do we know that? Why is it going too far right? A couple of reasons. There's two up there. Give me one. No, there's something in here that tells me just looking at it, that this person is lean. Look at this. And does it look like it's leaning way over to the right? Yeah. So that this tells me that, too. How does it tell me that? In two ways. The weight. The weight is number one, right? It goes 10 left, and then it goes right, what, 20. So it's got a 30-unit shift, so to speak. I know it's millimeters in weight, but it's just so easy just to see it this way, okay? You go 10, you should go to zero, right? It's zero weight, okay? Zero millimeters, same idea. But this person goes another 20, and that's a picture of what that looks like, right? So there's something else in this here that tells you that it's too far right. right. The head tilt. The head tilt. That's what these bends will tell you, is that this thing is going too far right. Why? Because it's over here and the writing reflex says, no, the head's now got it. The last joint of the body. Okay. The top of the line. 
the little cople, a little rooster with a weather vane on top has got to be adjusted because the whole building is tilting like this. How's that sound? Let's move my belly button to center because my whole body's over. That's going to be effective, right? No, it's ridiculous. So you can see what's going on in this thing. And then you can look at this thing and you can just look at this picture. And that's, this is, this is the piece. It's just, if you forget everything else, you could just stand back and probably none of you looked at this yesterday and said, I need to look at this, per I need to adjust this person on the left-hand side. I mean, on the right-hand side. I definitely need to adjust this person on the right hand. Just looking at that x-ray. You saw the bending, you see the tilting, you see the shoulder, you see this, that, everything else. But you could just see how the person's nervous system and their myofascial connection is just all the way over here. And they got to have some of this love there. Okay? So this listing tells me that, doesn't it? Why does it tell me that? Because it's an over. Okay? And I want to support to make it on first look, take care of the weight side, okay? It's not 99%, but it's a lot of people will be taken care of, 80 plus percent, okay? So Jamie, that's for Jamie, because there are, uh, there are other people. So it's like a formula that works for a great amount of people. That's what I want to give you. But then there's standing back, and when you start adjusting people, what happens? They react a certain way, and you live in the present moment, okay? I am. Okay, he nay me, okay, which means here I am. All right. So 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 you see how the person reacts. If I adjusted this person on the right hand side and all of a sudden it didn't just it and it, and it, it didn't just pop up to zero, but the whole thing fell over further to the left. The legs went to 20 and the weight went to five, eight, ten, something like that. The legs really kicked out further. What would you do with this person? You flip them over and see if they need this, okay? Well, what happens, Steve, if you did that and it fell back to this? What are you going to make a decision? You're going to say, you know what? I don't want to leave them where they were. I'm going to leave them over here, and I'm going to talk to them, and I'm going to say, listen, I opened the top, but there's a problem down here, and it's weak, okay? So you may have some soreness and some issue here. We'll see, but this is a first step. Because when I did this, it did this. And I said, okay, I want to try to bring this whole thing to center. And I turned you over and I went like this and it fell back down. And they go, oh, that's no good. That's right. Yeah, it's no good. I don't want to leave you where you were. I want to see if this can open, let the glue dry. And then guess what? We're going to see if we can flip you over someday and get, get your legs up underneath you and create balance. Because that's where your nervous system is relaxed. That's where the power of your cell phone is, is charging. Okay, that's what that's health. So you got power. Okay, so you get that? Yeah. So you can look at this picture and just find out what's happening. So you go, okay, forget the X-ray and all this garbage because that just goes in. That's that's a problem, right? That's been going on a long time. Yeah. So how long does it take to to change that? They don't have enough time. None of us do for any of the stuff we got to change forever. OK, no pencils. It's not on the tape. It's not not in the multiple multiple choice. Can't make a pencil. What you can do is create a place, hopefully, that the nervous system says, hey, I can handle that. That's what we try to do. And this person over here ain't handling that, is it? are they? Right. And that's where dis-ease sets in. That's straight chiropractic to me, you know. You know, that's just chiro. I don't even know straight chiro. I just think that's chiropractic. I don't. I, yeah, there's nothing else but that. Are you posting the full slide stuff at a certain point? No, but I I need to do that. You know, you know. I always say to myself, you know, I just learned this new thing. I'm just going to do this for a while, and and then um, and then I think I'm going to do that, and then I learn something else. So I never feel like I'm good enough. <laughs> yeah, I know. I got it. Yeah, I do need to do that. So it's keep that that actually that conversation is just has recently been coming up. So it's obviously time to hear that again. You know, I post up here too sometimes, you know, still. Okay. Armin? That's what I was gonna, that's what I was gonna ask. Do you have a full spine now or is it like that? <clears throat> like seconds? Or are you doing... two pictures put together, stitched. Is that what you're asking me? Yeah. I had a full spine panel when I was analog, you know, film. 
But when I changed over, that was only that big. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. So let's look at this from what we learned yesterday. Okay. I, I went through some of it already. But let's do that. Spend a minute. Look at this. Okay. Look at the symptoms. Tell me what's, tell yourselves what's going on in the nervous system. It starts with this word. It is a type X. <laughs> okay. The leg and the weight are doing this. So it's an over, under, or balanced. Okay. I, the rotations are doing this. This person's nervous system is, is like it's stage three. Number one. Successful and easy, relaxed. Successful and exertion is two. It's still successful. How do we measure success? Zero to three, right? Pounds, body's bringing itself. That's the greatest measure. Is it being successful? Is it bringing the body back after damage to zero to three? How much is it exerting to do that? Okay, one, two, third one, no success, but exerting. And the last stage of the nervous system is it's out of gas. And it's, and, it's, and it's unsuccessful, okay? I got the suitcase. I got the suitcase. And I'm having trouble with the suitcase. I ain't got it no more. <laughs> it's the way it goes. There's no in between. So, you know, there's gray between those, right? All right. The next conversation is, okay, if that's the case, what do I got to do to help the nervous system? That really is the conversation. What do I do to help the nervous system? Okay? It's not, what do I do to help the bone? Okay, what do I help to do this angle? What do I do to help this whole thing? It's just one thing, a nervous system. Okay, everything else is inside for its glory. That simple. It's, it's they're the slave of the nervous system. The heart only beats so there can be blood. The liver only cleans and blah, blah, blah. And this does that only so the nervous system can have an experience. That's it. Okay. Does the release that you just said is most important to support that nervous system support this right here? Yes. Yeah. And then does it have any convexities on that vertical axis? Head, neck at C1, neck, spine, C7. And if it does, where is the convexity so that I can open it up? Because that's the place, okay? So then what is the release sequence based on what it needs what the symptom is, and where the bend point convexities are. Boom, boom, 